we see a lot of different ways that the zombies can be killed in here. With the experience you guys now have, what would be your weapon of choice for killing a zombie? Amari, why don't you go first and then Matthias? For me, it would have to be just sort of a hip hypnotist, hypnotism. There we go. You know, here I am with this big saw and like, and like the world will now know like, man, this character, we thought Ghost was brutal, but wow, Mandarone, right? Like I'm competing now with any other prior gritty, gru gruesome character I played. And, uh, and I would say, why, why don't I just tap into that kind of Zen place that Vandero also lived at, his alter ego exists in that space and just kind of like lay the zombie down and just kind of like, just, there you go, just shh. And then they die and they don't come back to life. So hypnotism, I think. I will kill him with my breath, with my breath. <sighs> morning breath, morning breath. That's original. Okay, I like that one. I would try to have a reasonable conversation and talk things out so that there didn't have to be any violence. I would just really want to sit down and try and and create peace between myself and the zombie. Take it. They don't care. Well, I'm willing to put my life on the line. And if that doesn't work, then fine. I'll drop a grand piano out of a top window onto the zombie. Fine. I think I would just run away and uh, try to survive. That's the only thing I would do and leave the zombies with the zombie friends. You know, that's, uh, that's, or, or, you know, scream so loud as I can, you know, maybe the head will explode. We don't know. So, uh, <laughs> um, yeah. Uh, I think I'll run away. Forget about the killing thing. I would just run away. I'd poison it, him, them, with... Um, <laughs> you know that scene in Ozark where she like grinds up the cherries and then she poisons the, yeah, that's how I would do it. Just because I want to see if it actually works, mainly. I would take a katana. I would go with the, I, I, th I feel secure with a, a good old samurai sword. Oh, nice. And how much um, yeah. would it cost to get you onto an army that was going to go and fight zombies? I feel like everyone's got their price. That would be a long conversation. Because I would have to, like, I feel like my responsibility would be to protect, you know, my family and my dogs, and I have to be with them first. But then, you know, if it was a bigger picture, I felt that, like they were secure and people, like, really needed me to go out and kill some zombies. Like, I, you know, would feel a sense of obligation because I think I would have a, a natural uh, ability to kill zombies. I feel like I'd be good at it. So, and I do have a little experience already, so <laughs> I, I want to use that for good. <laughs> didn't expect it to be so difficult to put a price on yeah. it, but clearly you're going to yeah. put a lot more. Yeah, well, that's the thing. It wouldn't be, it wouldn't be a monetary price. It would have to be, you know, something that would, it would have to play to my heartstrings. You know, I would have to, it would have to be an emotional decision. You know, it would have to be a, that type of decision, not so much a, a money decision. I mean. You know, how, how, how much is money going to mean, really, if there's a zombie apocalypse? You know, it's you know, things that are going to be important are like food and water and fuel <laughs> and shelter. I mean, True. So, You've learned all the yeah. smart stuff that we need. Yeah.